tables here at Wolfley's? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I haven't gotten to that point right yet, David. But, but I do walk around. I, I, I do table touches. That's what, that's what they're called. <laughs> Is that what they're called? In the business, <laughs> table touches. You, how's everything going, by the way? <laughs> Who is more important for the Arizona Cardinals to get back this week, Gerald Hayes or Steve Preston? Gerald Hayes. Yeah? Gerald Gerald you didn't have to Hayes. think about I, that. I, Don't you want to take a minute to think about no, it? I mean, just I, a I, second? I, I know, I really do. And, okay. And look, that's no slam against Steve Preston. Uh, I, I absolutely love Steve Preston as a football player and what a great man he is as well. But I can tell you, it's Gerald Hayes beyond a shadow of a doubt. Very underrated what he brings to the table defensively for the Arizona Cardinals. You have to remember, Gerald Hayes not only is is stout mm -hmm. in between the tackles, yeah. a good tackler in between the tackles, but also a guy that gets everyone else lined up. And this defense is the key. The Arizona Cardinals defense holds the key to the rest of the season, I think, for the okay. Cardinals. Who in the NFC West scares you the most after what we saw on Sunday? Who scares I, you? I think it's Seattle. I think it's Seattle. And Doesn't it have to you be could Seattle? Make a, well, you could make a real argument that it's the St. Louis Rams. Okay. Sam Bradford, he's the real deal. Yes, he is. He's not the real deal, David. Sam he is Bradford, the real deal. Sam Bradford, I, I, look, I'm not going to crown him. All right, I'm not going to okay, Denny. to suddenly crown him. All right, and, and, and say you know he he's going to be Tom Brady. There's a long way to go for that, but right now the early indications coming back, this guy is special. Here's why I say Seattle though. Hasselback. You, you know, well, okay, you say Hasselback. I'm gonna say Questfield. You know they're going to go six and two at home. Point. You no, know they're going to go six and two at home, right? Maybe even seven and one. That's a great point, Quest Field. I think Matt Hasselbeck is still the best quarterback in the NFC West. What he's lacked is a running game up in Seattle, and their offensive line, by the way, <laughs> that's no picnic up there either. Yeah. But they're they're making a commitment to try to remain balanced. How big of a stretch is it to say? that the winner of this Sunday's game between the Cardinals and the Seahawks don't do it wins the division <laughs> how big of a how long how how far am i stretching i think right now it, it's ludicrous it's ludicrous and I, and I know that you're proposing that because once again i'm trying to jab it, you in the ribs exactly so, so, so right. i'm just but week just, seven just right? stirring it up it's going to be week seven in the national football league still way too early especially when seattle has not played at university of phoenix stadium yet and we're going to get too. you, David. We're going to get you an item on the menu. No, come on, yes. don't say that. No, come don't on, say why that. Why not? Don't say it. that. Really? What would you like? A salad? Is that what you uh, like? Not the salad. Maybe the something salad. a little meatier. Something. Even some... though you are, you have vegan tendencies. Uh, pizza. Pizza. I want a pizza named after me. All right. Uh, what do you like? Uh, meat on my pizza. <laughs> <laughs> it's the David Charles Bird <laughs> meat pie. The, the meat pie. That, right, that's yeah. that's it. Make it done. We'll see what we can do. Make it happen. I <laughs> uh, hear from Wolfley's uh, the Wolfley's Gridiron Gospel here on Sports.KTAR.com. We'll see you next week.